Alright guys, Terry Dactyl here and welcome to the video. Here are 10 Firestorm tips to help you play. So the first tip is for healing. So once you get into a fight, take a lot of armor and health damage you need to heal up. In the early days I used to spam all my health or all my armor first and then switch to healing the next one. It's a lot more efficient to cycle between putting on an armor plate and using a health syringe. So do an armor plate, health syringe, armor plate, health syringe. It's a lot better than just healing one of them up first. Alright, bolt action sniper rifles. Bolt action rifles are just great. They're the highest weapon damage in the game and you can one shot lightly armored enemies. The guy in this clip had no armor at all. But in this situation I'm looking around, get spotted by someone, he tries to ambush me, bolt action, straight to the head, and he's dead. Luckily for Firestorm, if you need practice with a bolt action rifle, jump into Conquest and practice there. If you're not getting any good with bolt action rifles for the bullet drop and bullet travel, I'd recommend changing your recon class to a self-loading rifle first and practice with that. I found practicing with a self-loading rifle you know, a hell of a lot better than jumping straight in for bolt action first. Try to only sprint when you're crouched. It's because in Firestorm, footsteps are really easy to hear and they make more noise when you're standing up and sprinting. Crouch sprinting will also make it easier for you to hear others while nearby just because it makes the volume of your footsteps lower in your own uh, speakers or headphones. Generally, I'll only try to sprint while standing when I'm trying to outrun the Firestorm itself. So tanks in solos. Personally, I stay away from tanks and solos just because they're pretty easy to kill. I used to be a bit afraid of them, but now I'm not at all. Uh, in Firestorm, they can't drive and shoot at the same time. So if you see one, just use cover to your advantage. Pop in, pop out with a panzer, and you can easily take it out. So just because you see someone doesn't mean you need to shoot them. Get into a good position, or follow them and try and get to their flank to like an unprotected side. Pick your moment. In your inventory, you can double right click to drop all the ammo of a certain type that you don't need. However, this won't work when you're reloading a weapon, so you need to wait for that animation to finish first. Also, try to keep your armor plates to one certain location. For me, I always try to keep it to my number 3 key. Now for your loadout, you always want to get a CQC weapon like an SMG or a full auto assault rifle and a long range weapon. Personally for me, a bolt action sniper rifle or a self loading sniper rifle. And get a pistol with one and collect one ammo box as well for a backup just, just in case in close quarters you fire all the rounds from a magazine quickly switch to your pistol finish the guy off now for your drop range I tend to drop around the 1100 mark and as I'm falling down I'll aim uh, maybe 100 200 meters before the landing point because you, you parachute for quite a distance in this so you'll get down quicker if you do this the camo options I use my Allies Assault Guy for full green camo and I use my Axis Assault Guy for full snow camo. I found through play that the Firestorm Circle will end it's a pretty even split between a snow area and a grass area. So I would say it's personal preference but try to get one full type of camo for your character. Last tip for you today is just to fire a move. After killing someone, don't hang around their corpse, quickly loot, quickly get out of there. Your gunshots are going to attract other people, so pull back and you might even be able to get a sneaky kill on someone trying to get uh, the loot you left behind. Especially when you're sniping, don't hang around. And when you're sprinting away, make sure you crouch to reduce your movement sound as well. If you're in a protracted firefight with someone, you need to pull back and heal move around for a flank and you might be able to uh, sneakily get him as, uh, as he pushes you, that's it, if he pushes you. 
or flank round and uh, push him from an unexpected angle. So thanks for watching guys, if you like the video give us a like, subscribe for more content, hopefully these tips will uh, give you a hand in getting a Firestorm victory, and I'll see you on the next one.